Good morning. It's Sunday the 5th of February. Our main story, the business secretary Grant Shapps has given energy firms a deadline of Tuesday to say what action they'll take for vulnerable customers who may have had prepayment meters wrongfully installed. It comes after an investigation by the Times newspaper which revealed that some debt agents working for British Gas had broken into the homes of people who are struggling to pay their bills in order to install the equipment. Simon Jones has this report. Hello, it's British Gas or Gas Supply. We're here with a court warrant. Debt collectors working for British Gas, secretly filmed, about to break into the home of a single father with young children to fit a prepayment meter. I love this bit. It's not an isolated case and has prompted the industry regulator Ofgem to ask all energy companies to suspend the practice. But the business secretary is going further. Grant Shapp says, I am appalled that vulnerable customers struggling with their energy bills have had their homes invaded. I'm also concerned the regulator is too easily having the wool pulled over their eyes by taking at face value what energy companies are telling them. Grant Shapps is demanding to know by Tuesday what action firms are going to take to compensate customers affected. And he wants a new customer hotline set up to allow households to tell their own stories to the regulator. One fuel poverty charity says change is needed. Clearly energy companies haven't been following the rules. The energy regulator hasn't been enforcing them hard enough. Lots of households have been put in terrible situations and are losing out. It's absolutely right that the, the industry should be under pressure to find a compensatory package for those. I would like it to be imposed by government and regulators rather than suppliers to offer it up themselves. Energy suppliers can force fit prepayment meters with a warrant. It should be a last resort if people are in arrears and vulnerable customers shouldn't be switched. More than a thousand warrants a day were approved by magistrates last year, mainly to do this. The BBC has learnt that courts were given advice suggesting those warrants could be waived through. That's led to concern from some legal experts. I don't think this is what the public would reasonably expect of a process that empowers a private company to come and break your front door down. Um, this is turning the process, has turned the process into a rubber stamp when it should be a safeguard. British Gas has now suspended all forced installations. And in a statement, Ofgem said, our reviews have already exposed that there needs to be significant improvement in standards across the sector. The picture presented by companies may not accurately reflect what is experienced by customers on the ground. Energy UK, which represents the industry, says suppliers are now looking to fix any issues as quickly as possible. Simon Jones, BBC News. Police searching for missing mothers.